I like turtles less than three. I like turtles too, man. I used to have a turtle. In Minnesota, you have a lot of lakes everywhere, so most neighborhoods have a lake that a bunch of houses are built around. It's so like down the street from my place, there's a bunch of houses built around a, a small lake. And one of the people that lived in that neighborhood gave me and my friends permission to, you know, fish in their backyard. My friends are, were Chinese immigrants, they're really cool guys, and um, they taught me a lot about like fishing and, and cooking and stuff. We'd hang out a lot in elementary school, and anyway, one day we were fishing, and it was mostly like bullheads, you know, like, I, don't, I don't know, I guess they look, I guess they're catfish in other states, it's like a really bad kind of fish. Anyway, one day we were in the pond, and normally we just catch like those bullheads, like these catfish, but there were a bunch of turtles out, because there's this log that was out in the water, and all the turtles, they're all snapping turtles. They would get up on the log and just sunbathe. Basically, we found out that if we caught a fish and then used the fish as bait, we could actually get turtles to bite and uh, kind of reel them in a little bit closer to shore and then net them. The story is all about Raynad's nine-year-old animal cruelty, but it is what it is. So the point is we figured out how to catch turtles and we caught a lot of them and uh, a lot of like really massive ones and we probably caught like 12 turtles and we let like most of them go and then we brought a few back and uh, my Chinese friend's uh, grandma who also immigrated with them she knew how to make turtle soup so she made turtle soup I don't think I ever actually tried it though back then anyway uh, one of the turtles or a couple of turtles were like pretty small like smaller you know I felt bad like killing them so, I actually, um, I took one home as a pet, because I wanted a pet. Uh, this story sounds really cruel, now that I'm saying it. But basically, I would, I would feed the, I called him Tricky, and I would feed him ham. He's a snapping turtle, so they're carnivorous. I'm 50% sure. I mean, I was young and stupid, you know, what the fuck do I know? Anyway, I made him a little, like, leash so he could chill outside. It was basically, like, a, a very loose rubber band, really, like, weak one, around it, around the middle of his shell and I tied it to a little string with that had like a lot of slack, um, like 20 feet long, and wrapped it around a tree in the backyard and he would just walk all around the yard and I would feed him and stuff. My point is I let the turtle go after like a few days and um, brought him back to the pond, let him in the water. And then when school started in the fall, I saw a bunch of like baby snapping turtles crossing the street going towards the pond because they just hatched and they were just tiny, like this big. One of them was run over. I picked up the other ones and got them to the lawn across the street. Point is, there's less turtle cruelty in the future. Boom! Cthun to the face, minus nine, eat my fucking dick. Sweet. <laughs> All right, I want yes. You're so excited about Hearthstone, man.